Here they are, two big surprise packages in John Deere's new generation of power. The new 1010 utility and the new 1010 single row crop tractors. Make no mistake about it, these tractors belong on many operations and they'll measure up to the big boys in years of dependable service. There's 35 PTO horsepower in the all new John Deere built four cylinder variable speed engines, both gasoline and diesel. 35 horsepower that's just itching to make itself useful. Take this 1010 utility. It's low built, about knee high to many tractors. That's why it's a better operator inside barns and sheds, in orchards, groves, and vineyards. Its short wheelbase makes the turning radius short for easy handling in cramped quarters too. And it's a stable tractor, one that walks or runs on steep hillsides. The 1010 utility is just the ticket for loading, hauling, haying, and other field work. That's why you're going to see it at work on many sizes and types of farms, as the number one power unit on smaller operations, and as the economical handyman on larger places. Now, when it comes to precision cultivating, the new 1010 single row crop gives the small acreage farmer and specialty crop growers many distinct advantages. Its economical 35 horsepower is more than ample for all conditions. Its 21 inch crop clearance and offset design make fast, thorough, precise work easy, even in tall, bushy crops. But the real gems in the 1010 tractor surprise packages are the new 35 horsepower four-cylinder variable speed engines, gasoline or diesel, take your choice. These engines are brand new yet fully field proved. They provide you with an efficient working range from low to full throttle for light or heavy work. For light jobs, such as mowing or rotary hoeing, the engine loafs along at 1500 revolutions per minute, giving you maximum economy of fuel. When you advance the engine to 2500 RPM, you'll handle heavy tillage work or other big power jobs. A 1010 tractor readily pulls a three bottom plow in practically all soils. This is the 1010 diesel engine. It's a new power package, deer designed and precision built. A special turbulence chamber and related parts give you top efficiency through the wide range of working speeds. Pistons are four ring type of aluminum alloy for extra good heat dissipation. On the 1010 diesel engine, the rotor type fuel injection pump shown here in cutaway view assures accurate metering of fuel. Gasoline engines are equipped with updraft carburetors. With the handy throttle located on the steering wheel shaft, you have full control of the speed of your engine. The throttle and transmission shift lever shown here work as a team. You have a complete range of speeds for efficient handling of all types of equipment. The transmission has five forward gears and one reverse. With the variable speed engine, this combination provides ground speeds from one and one half miles per hour to nearly 15 miles per hour. These are overlapping speeds in most cases. For example, in second gear, you have a speed range from about two and three quarter to four and a half miles per hour. In third gear, the range varies from three and a half to nearly six miles per hour. The engine clutch is built for durability and heavy duty service. It's operated by the left foot. Brakes are individual self-energizing disc type they are actuated in part by motion of the tractor. You can operate the pedals together for positive braking action on both wheels. 1010 row crop and utility tractors are regularly equipped to provide a 540 RPM transmission driven power takeoff. The live independent power takeoff shown here is optional. It operates at either 540 or 1000 RPM. When the PTO lever is in the rear position, as illustrated here, the clutch is disengaged and the PTO is not operating. Pushing the lever forward engages the clutch. A reversible stub shaft fits into one or the other of two splined couplings 
to provide a power takeoff operating at either 540 or 1000 RPM. The right coupling provides a power shaft speed of 540 RPM, operating speed for most PTO machines now in use. The left coupling operates at 1000 RPM, the new standard speed for PTO machines. Fast, smooth, easy working hydraulic systems provide a big lift for every job. This lever controls the single rock shaft for the 1010 utility tractor. The 1010 row crop tractor is available with either a single system or with a dual hydraulic system. These two control levers operate the dual rock shaft. The dual rock shaft on the 1010 row crop tractor helps you perform such functions as delayed lift of cultivator rigs. The front rigs may be lifted first, then the rear ones as the implement finishes out a row. For greatest lifting power, the dual arms on the rock shaft may be pinned together as shown here. Then a rock shaft selector valve is positioned to combine the capacity of both hydraulic cylinders. Will the operator please turn the record? A versatile rock shaft controlled three point hitch is available to save time and muscle, give you pick up and go farming. You may use this hitch with a very wide selection of economical category one tools. These include implements for tillage, planting, cultivating, haying, harvesting, and utility work. Attaching is a quick, simple job. You back the tractor, attach the draft links, then the center link. You can adjust the hitch for correct alignment and working position from the tractor seat. Lateral or side to side adjustments are made with a hand crank at the top of the right lift link. You make fore and aft adjustments by using the turnbuckle to shorten or lengthen the center link. Sway chains prevent excessive swaying when an implement is in transport. They also permit certain tools such as plows to follow contours. The three-point hitch provides an important and exclusive John Deere feature, hydraulic load and depth control. You benefit from a top-notch tillage job at a steady, acre-eating pace with little downshifting, even in tough and spotty soils. The load and depth control is operated by linkage connected to the center link of the hitch. When the implement moves into soil or surface irregularities, the movement of the implement mast is transmitted through the linkage to the hydraulic system, which automatically adjusts the working depth of the tool. Three holes are provided in the load control yoke for varying degrees of draft. The upper hole is for greatest draft, the lower for light draft. Here, the center link is being attached to the middle hole. For some three-point tools where load and depth control is not essential, gyromores, hitch-mounted mowers, and others, you can lock out the system by turning this convenient screw. A sturdy, adjustable swinging drawbar is available. You may use it in long or short position, high or low setting, locked in position, or as a free swinging drawbar. Wheel treads, both front and rear, may be adjusted in various widths to suit your needs. Here, the utility tractor is shown with wheels in narrow tread. You can set the wheels at maximum width for greater stability. Front wheel tread settings of both the row crop and utility models range from about 40 to 55 inches. Rear wheel tread range is approximately 40 to 58 inches for the row crop tractor and 43 to 60 inches for the utility. Here's the row crop tractor showing how the wheels are offset to give you an excellent view of the row for precision cultivating. Rear wheels may be power adjusted within a range of approximately 42 to 62 inches using engine power for a fast, easy job. Power steering, first introduced by John Deere, brings you true fingertip turning, even in soft, loose, or muddy soil. When the tractor engine is not running, the tractor may be steered manually. Power steering takes much of the hard work out of tractor operation. Helps keep you morning fresh all day. 
you work with ease, even with heavy front-mounted tools, such as this 35 loader. This deluxe seat erases much of the bounce and jolt ordinarily encountered on rough fields and roads. The seat shown here is for the 1010 utility. A deluxe seat is also provided for the single row crop tractor. The seat offers firm yet cushioned support to help you stay relaxed all day. The seat regularly furnished has a deep spring cushion seat, cushioned backrest, and is easily adjustable. Sidearm cushions are available. The single row crop seat may be adjusted to an offset position using this convenient lever. Clean, uncluttered tractor design and offset adjustment of the seat give you an unobstructed view of the row while cultivating. The design of the 1010 tractors permits you to stand and stretch your legs with the tractor on the go. Fast, easy servicing is another plus value of the 1010 series tractors. The battery is conveniently located at the rear of the engine. It slides out on a tray for quick checking. An access door permits easy checking of water level and filling of the radiator. For night work, a complete 12-volt electric lighting system is available. It includes headlamps, a rear lamp with both red warning bulb and bright working bulb, a panel light, and a plug-in socket for implement warning light extension. Headlamps are sealed beam units in shockproof rubber mounts, which help prolong life by absorbing jolts and shock. Bright and dim positions are provided. Here's a tractor warning lamp which swings out to the side. The intermittent flashing red light warns others of your position. Front end and rear wheel weights are recommended for use with some tools. Regular equipment on the 1010 tractors includes speed hour meter, oil pressure gauge, and indicator lights to show battery charge and water temperature. Also available are a fuel gauge and cigarette lighter. The 1010 diesel engine is equipped with glow plugs to make starting easier. The convenient key starter switch shown here provides a glow plug position for preliminary warm-up. This fuel shutoff control is provided to stop the diesel engine. On gasoline tractors, a choke control occupies this position. During the past few minutes, we've only hit the high spots of these great new generation John Deere 1010 series tractors. Now we invite you to field test one of these new tractors on your own farm, under your own field conditions, and at your own convenience. There's no cost or obligation. Let's make a date to demonstrate one of these tractors on your farm soon.